What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone is doing well, feeling blessed and highly favored. Um, today I'm going to use the, the Panther Oracle. I'm going to pull a few from Panther, and I'm going to use my deck. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna pull um, a few from Panther, see what energy we have uh, that comes out for us. Withdrawal, uh, quit, awakening, rejection. Conflict in reverse, difference, Dissipation, quarrel, is in, re in reverse. Uh, we have death, endless, harm, inevitable, and gain, cultivation, profit, uh, conclusion. Pull one more. And we have disturbance in reverse. Obscure, irritation, supernatural. So, you know, somebody could be uh, withdrawing from something, you know, uh, deciding to quit something. Maybe somebody had uh, an objective, a goal they were trying to reach. Um, they could have just decided to quit it, you know, uh, to tap out. Uh, they could have been rejected from something. Um, whatever the case, you know, somebody's walking away from conflict. You know, there could have been a quarrel, um, uh, some differences, you know, and somebody's walking away from the conflict. Uh, maybe withdrawing from the conflict. Uh, this is a permanent ending. You know, we have the death card. This is, um, something is over. You know, something's done with whoever this is walking away. Um, maybe they could potentially gain something. Whoever this is walking away from conflict and, you know, choosing this, this ending, you know, they could potentially gain something or somebody else could gain something. Um, honestly, it kind of seems like, you know, whatever this is, whatever they're walking away from, you know, whatever's ending is going to be like for the better, you know, because coming out of that, you're gaining something and irritation is leaving, uh, disturbance is leaving, you know, no more uh, conflict. Like, you know, this is all for the better. Um, I'm going to get into the jump into the spread. I did pre-shuffle this deck. I'm going to give it one more go. All right, let's get into it. Eight of Cups. Obsessed in reverse. Knight of Swords. Ascension in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. All right, so we have Eight of Cups. Obsessed in reverse, Knight of Swords, Ascension in reverse, and Four of Wands in reverse. I'm going to clarify all of these. Uh, the first card out was Eight of Cups. Uh, this card talks about walking away from something, um, withdrawing from something, you know, uh, quitting something. You know, um, you've made a big investment, Eight Cups out of Ten, and, you know, this is somebody deciding to just walk away. Uh, eight of Cups. Three of Cups in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. The Chariot. High Priestess. So um, the energy that we have that is, you know, withdrawing from something, quitting something, walking away from something is a King of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse is a masculine energy. Can be a man or a woman. Uh, this person is aggressive. You know, uh, Wands rule passion. So this is somebody very passionate. Uh, can be sexual in nature. Um, lustful. Uh, but this person's, uh, they can be controlling, aggressive, uh, domineering. Um, three cups in reverse. I feel like they're walking away from a group. You know, either a friend group, a work group, uh, you know, their coven. Uh, I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever the case. They're walking away from a corrupt group of individuals. Uh, this person has forward movement. You know, the chariot talks about moving forward victoriously. You know, getting control of a situation. I feel like this person might be moving away from this group and maybe towards the high priestess. 
or you know this could represent this person using their intuition um if it's an energy you know high priestess is a feminine energy it can be a man or a woman this is somebody who is spiritually tapped in you know um uh, very very much in touch with their spiritual side uh this person can be gifted and they use their gifts for good you know um tower in reverse six of pentacles knight of cups two of wands so yeah this is somebody you know this king of wands like i said you know they're withdrawing from something they're walking away from an investment something that they were working on or contributing to um they're moving they have forward movement and they're moving towards a high priestess i feel like this person walking away from whatever they're walking away from they're avoiding a tower you know, tower in reverse. This is like a sudden drastic change. You know, something that happens out of nowhere and changes the course of things. Um, this is the, the universe's way of balancing the scales. Um, you know, with this in reverse, you know, I feel like somebody is avoiding a catastrophe. You know, avoiding a tower moment by walking away from whatever they're walking away from. Uh, this person is wanting equal give and take. You know, Six of Pentacles talks about generosity, reciprocity, or equal give and take, giving some, giving something. Um, if this is like a past person, you know, maybe this person didn't give to the connection, they didn't give to you, um, and now they want to. You know, they want they want to give. Uh, this person wants to make a love offer. They might want to express, you know, their love, make some type of offer. Uh, this person's planning. You know, this is somebody who has put some thought into whatever they're doing. And uh, with the two of wands here, you know, they're, they've made plans. Um, else was on? Secret plans, I guess. <laughs> we had secrets come out. Uh, maybe this is a secret plan. You know, uh, maybe they're going to surprise some people. I don't know. Uh, obsessed in reverse, you know, this talks about, uh, it can talk about coming out of, uh, out of obsession. Or it can talk about being super obsessed, like crazy obsessed. Uh, obsessed reverse wheel of fortune eight of wands false person emotional manipulator in reverse so I mean I kind of I do kind of feel like I feel like this is somebody that is obsessed, you know, like obsessed is in reverse, but this is not necessarily like somebody coming out of that energy. I feel like somebody is like super obsessed, uh, maybe with an outcome, maybe with something that's faded with the wheel of fortune here. Um, it's in the upright, you know, this person could be obsessed with, uh, you know, turning the wheel into their favor. Um, this person might want to do it very quickly. You know, the Eight of Wands talks about uh, quick communication or something coming in quick. Um, yeah, I feel like this person might, you know, they want to they want to turn the wheel into their favor, back into their favor. They want to communicate something really quick. They might want to communicate that they were a false person. I get an energy of somebody who might want to like admit their faults, admit their wrongs, maybe how they were false. If this is somebody who, you know, uh, manipulated you in the past, this came out reverse. You know, maybe they don't want to do that anymore. Um, I happen to flip over. It's nine of pentacles. You know, the minor arcana of the empress. Uh, this is, you know, pertaining to the collective. Four of cups in reverse. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Sun in reverse. Damn, that flew out of there. Six of cups. Yeah, so this person, you know, um, they might want to communicate maybe that they were a false person. Um, they might be changing some of their ways. This is somebody that, you know, they feel like they might have missed uh, a magical opportunity. Like they chose wrong. You know, there was a cup being presented to them. They didn't take it. Um, then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is a karmic feminine energy. Somebody very concerned with material gain, material success. Uh, a gold digger. They're superficial, materialistic. Um... You know, maybe instead of choosing the collective, they didn't take your cup. They rejected, you know, um, the collective and they chose a gold digger, somebody that was only out for money. 
somebody that was um, the sun in reverse can talk about unhappiness, but I also get like an energy of uh, stagnancy, like somebody that had no growth. They didn't have any uh, expansion. Um, there was no success, you know, um, in their endeavors. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you know, that's somebody broke. Um, so yeah, you know, there was no growth. And uh, maybe that has this person thinking about the past. Six of Cups, you know, thinking about their past person. Lovers in reverse. Kev, intuitive Kev in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that's, you know, they're, you know, they might have chose somebody where there was no growth, no potential, no success. And now they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about, you know, a lover, a love contract that maybe they rejected or they tore up, you know, they walked away from when they weren't using their intuition. Yeah. Then we have the, the Knight of Swords in the upright view. Uh, the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. Um, this is somebody taking impulsive action. Um, it's in the, up, the upright. So this is somebody coming in really, really fast to maybe express some type of truth or to, you know, do something chivalrous, uh, heroic. Uh, it's a sword in the upright. So this is like, you know, somebody coming in, they're taking action to do something, do the right thing. Uh, Knight of Swords. The Hierophant. Oh, shit. Twin Flame. Five of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like this is somebody, you know, they're taking impulsive action and maybe stepping into their Hierophant energy. You know, um, if you are carrying High Priestess energy and that's who this person is heading towards, you know, uh, your counterpart would be the Hierophant. They go together. Um, so yeah, this person might be stepping into their hair fine energy, you know, uh, being spiritually wise. Um, this is somebody's twin flame. Whoever this person is going towards, I feel like they're going towards their, their true twin flame. And they don't want to fight. You know, if there were con if there was conflict, there was tension, you know, before they're, they're coming in now and they don't, I feel like they have a totally, they have a full understanding of what the situation is now. They don't want to fight. Ace of Cups in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Damn. Community in reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah. So this person, you know, they want to, I feel like this is an energy, you know, they're stepping into their higher self, the higher font. Um, you know, they want to go towards the twin flame. This is somebody who doesn't want to fight. You know, they come in peace. But uh, Ace of Cups in reverse, you know, this talks about, you know, a lack of unconditional love, a lack of self-love, a lack of love in general. Um or, you know, somebody could want this passionate new beginning in love, but they can't necessarily offer, you know, in the upright, this is them offering that cup, you know, in reverse, they can't offer this cup. They're not offering the cup. The cup got rejected. Um, I feel like they can't offer the cup, maybe because they're currently going through bad karma. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you know, they planted bad seeds, uh, made bad investments, and, you know, now they're reaping what they've sown. Uh, this is somebody who's releasing a community. I got the, those vibes up here with the three of cups in reverse and then walking away. They could be releasing a community, a community or a group could be releasing them. Um, this person's going through deep emotional pain. I do get the energy of someone who is, you know, they're clearly going through bad karma, but this is someone who is uh, experiencing, you know, they're in a time of transition in their life right now. You know, things are, they could be losing things. Um... Nine of Swords, yeah. This person's stressed out. You know, they're they're suffering deep emotional pain and they are stressed out. Nine of Swords talks about sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, um, you know, worry, fear. And I happen to glance at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands in reverse. This person's facing delays. 
You know, they're definitely at a standstill. They can't offer this. They might want to offer this cup right now, but they're not ready. But like I said, this is somebody's twin flame. Um, you know, I get the energy of somebody who's moving in the right direction. There, he's He or she is just not there yet. Um, clearly, ascension in reverse. You know, this is somebody who went the wrong way. When they should have been, you know, ascending, you know, getting in touch with their higher self. Um, you know, um, they decided not to. You know, maybe they were afraid. Maybe they were sold a dream. Maybe they were, uh, you know, just stuck in their toxic ways. Uh, but, you know, Ascension in Reverse is somebody who has descended. You know, um, Ascension in Reverse. Whew. Five of Pentacles. Uh, they have descended into poverty, into struggle. This person is, like I said, I got the energy of somebody who's losing things. Uh, Five of Pentacles. Uh, oh man, it, it flipped right into reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody losing things. You know, their life is decreasing in a major way. Five of Pentacles, that's poverty. Um, whew, yikes. Ooh, this energy just has me. Uh, this could have had something to do with gossip and slander, spying, you know, um, trash talk. Page of Swords in Reverse talks about gossip and slander. Vampire. This is talking about the, the, the other energy they chose. This Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, that person was a vampire. And they were, you know, uh, in a lot of cases, they gossiped, they slandered you. That other feminine energy really slandered you. They slandered you and manipulated the hell out of this masculine energy. That's the only way they were able to get in because they don't have anything to offer. Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. Person has nothing to offer. Bad news. Page of Wands in reverse. What's the bad news? What is the bad news? What's going on? Queen of Wands in reverse. There she is. So yeah, uh, y'all saw how that it started to come out in the upright. It flipped right into reverse. Like whoop. Uh, this is the karmic film, you know, and the karmic counterpart to this masculine. King and Queen of Wands both reverse. Uh, this is a lustful witchy feminine energy um oftentimes a prostitute and or a witch uh this person's receiving bad news and just i was just saying you know that other feminine energy was the one gossiping and slandering and there she is or he is uh, you know probably talking trash because they lost you know they <laughs> they're getting everything they deserve um losing stability four of wands in reverse you know somebody could be losing a home losing stability losing security they lost a union they were a false flame you know uh four of wands reverse. ten of pentacles the empress baby what's up boo <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, because that came out, the Ten of Pentacles came out in the upright right after that Four of Wands. And I'm like, I, this has got the collective. And I say this every time. I'm like, if this come out in the upright, it's got collective on it. Baby, Empress in the upright. Sup, boo? Rolling in the money. Let me hold something. <laughs> Empress. Oh, shit. Uh, the Moon in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment in reverse. These motherfuckers, they try to take your money. You know, and we all know, yep, justice in the upright. Baby, will be served. Justice for the collective. Karmic justice. Uh, you know, somebody's losing stability. You know, uh, they're losing stability because I feel they tried to take something that didn't belong to them. We have the Empress in the upright, this Ten of Pentacles in the upright. You know, this was, uh, this Empress, this Ten of Pentacles was, you know, this Empress's, uh, divine inheritance, you know, something that was destined for them. And in a lot of cases, as a lot of you well know, there was a collaboration. Three of Pentacles, three people or more, a group of people, uh, you know, a community of people, whatever the case, uh, that tried to work against you, you know, to defeat you, steal your destiny, take what God has ordained for you. They tried to trump God, and that's why they're losing everything. You still get your tin of pen. Um, but whatever they did, you know, that failed collaboration, secrets are out. Everything that was done in the dark has come to the light. Justice will be served. You will receive justice, Collective. You will be vindicated. Yeah, that collaboration failed. And now these people are under judgment. They don't want to be judged, though. 
Of course they don't. They don't want to be judged. Oh, I don't want to be judged. I know I sent four death spells. I know, you know, I've been sending that person depression and chaos magic. I know that I'm a piece of shit and I deserve every bit of what I'm about to get. Uh, you know, but yeah, they don't want to receive judgment. It will be served. Justice, baby. For the collector. Judgment with us in this last line. What's going on over here? Damn, that flew out of there. Seven of Cups. Yeah, they got wishful thinking. If they need to go escape judgment, they got wishful thinking. These folks done bumped their head. <laughs> Big dummy. Uh, two of Pentacles. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> Why are they flipping out like that, man? The world and six of wands. Well, the world came out reverse. Uh, you know, uh, when I say there's, you know, a group of people that collaborated against you, they don't want to be judged. Um, I feel like, you know, this can talk about you. That six of wands did come out first. Um, you know, you, you, uh, this was in my reading yesterday, you know. Uh, a lot of you in, you know, divine feminine energy, you know, you guys are, are receiving options. That's the judgment. You know, as these other people are facing judgment, you're, you know, getting your good karma. You know, you're having options, having choices and things. Uh, two of Pentacles, you could be balancing your finances. Uh, six of Wands, this is victory and success. You know, uh, you could be in the public eye. Um, this is winning. This is victory. Um, the world in reverse, uh, you know, the world talks about one cycle closing. Another one beginning. They can talk about completion or travel. So with the number verse, either, you know, maybe you can't travel right now. Uh, maybe there's something unfinished here. I don't know. What's up with that world in reverse? What is going on with this world in reverse here? This world in reverse. World in reverse. Oh, the most high in reverse. Hater, ten of cups in reverse. Oh, you know how I'm seeing this? A cycle could be open. You know, a lot of you may have stepped out of a, a toxic karmic cycle, you know, um, you may have made, you know, been guided out of a certain situation. But, you know, if this is your twin flame, which is he's in the upright, as well as that Hierophant in the upright with your high priestess in the upright, you know, uh, something's unfinished because y'all got to come together. You know, this person can't be a hater no more. They realize that they lost. They were coming from a dark place and, you know, they jeopardize their ten of cups because they want to be a hater. Um, or a hater, you know, jeopardize a hater coming from the uh, a bad place jeopardizes ten of cups, you know, and maybe that's why this is not, you know, I don't know how the whole twin flame thing works, like completely, um, but you know, I do, you know, I think you, you, the two of you are supposed to come together. You have a divine mission together, and it's my understanding that you know. That's that. That's not breakable. You know, that's something that God ordained. Unless you know one of one of you like screws up and loses your divinity. You know, then that's totally different. Uh, you know, you get somebody new. You know, get a new boo. What's the outcome of this? What's going on? I said, what's the outcome of this? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You go get everything you want, beloved. Uh, you might be getting a wish granted. Maybe there's something you've been praying for, you've been asking for. Um, you just might get it. jumping out like that. Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm. This card is hard, really. Why are they flipping out like that? I don't like that. Hangman in reverse. Goodness. Three of Wands in reverse. This is not your energy. This is somebody else. Oh, and it's Justice. You know what? This, uh, yeah. Nine of, Nine of Cups can also talk about being selfish. Somebody was selfish. Somebody was very, very selfish. Somebody was in a player energy, player, uh, sexual excess, you know, um, whoring about. Uh, and now this person's stuck. You know, stuck. Hangman talks about um, a temporary pause for reflection. You know, this person is illuminated. You know, they have to see things for what they are. Uh, they were waiting for ships to come in. And whatever ships they were waiting for, those ships have sank. They're not coming. And this is justice. It's justice in this situation. You know, uh, somebody is stuck for the for the time being. They might want to say sorry, though. Page of Cups. This person wants to apologize. I'm so sorry. Please ever take me back. Please. <laughs> yeah, you got your guards up. Like, hell no. The hell away from me. Don't touch me. 
Don't come in my force field. Don't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. You got your guards up because you wait on a divine partner. You said, mm, I don't want that twin flame. I want a divine partner. Don't touch me. I got my force field up. Baby. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Yeah, somebody's uh, tremendously burdened by that. Maybe this person know you got a divine partner coming in and they are tremendously burdened by that. This person, you know, this is somebody uh, that refuses to heal. They ain't went inward for introspection. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. This person taking losses, you know. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse, you know, he ain't got no pentacles. Oh man, Nine of Wands. Yeah, he going through it too. Nine of Wands. You know, uh, facing many obstacles, many challenges, you know. Uh, going through it. This boy is struggling. You know, uh, maybe because they were a hidden enemy. This could have been somebody that was working against you. That was in my last read, too. Uh, you know, this masculine could have been so he's secretly working against you. It was a King of Pentacles in reverse. Secretly working against you. King of Swords. Okay, what the hell is going on? Four of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Four of Pentacles and the Devil. This person's holding on to you. They're holding on to you. This past person, you know, they could be carrying a uh, King of Swords energy as well. You know, this is somebody that's emotionally cold. You know, uh, intelligent, rational. Uh, Four of Pentacles, you know, they're either holding back or they're holding on tightly. Because this person has an attachment to you. Or to this situation, to the Ten of Pentacles, to an outcome. Uh, Death in Reverse and Ace of, uh, Pen Ace of Swords in Reverse. Man... This person's in bad health. This keeps coming out. These cards come out is that, uh, the same way because this is like real spill. Uh, this person's in bad health. Or no, this uh, Queen of Swords in Reverse could be in bad health because they were an opportunist. You know, somebody that wore many masks. You know, they overstepped their boundaries, overstepped your boundaries. Yeah, they had legal issues. I cannot make this up. Collective, y'all know y'all see this. And all the re- Ops, Eight of Swords, somebody going to jail. Same cards. I shuffled this deck extra good. They come out how they're supposed to come out. There's a karmic feminine that could be in bad health. This person was a clown, a, you know, an opportunist. You know, they're in legal issues, and those two came out right next to each other. Like, right? Legal issues, eight of swords. I said, somebody going to jail, they did some illegal shit. All the damn check fraud, you know, out here, you know, trying to worry about somebody else's destiny. Shit, you out here committing felonies. If you don't. Oh, my goodness. Five of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody that wanted to... They tried to get victory by deceit. You know, they wanted to win by any means necessary. They wanted that love partnership. They really wanted your soulmate as their own. Yeah, rejected. Fail. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You will not get the offer. Goodbye. Yeah, all that black magic is going back. Return the sender tenfold. Anything sent to myself or my collective is returned to the sender with love and light. But it is returned tenfold. And may it never return to us. Yeah, these people didn't want to accept a permanent ending. Uh, you know, you, I, when I see this, I think of the collective. You know, you were innocent in the situation. And uh, you either avoided a really harsh ending or you, he you healed from one. You know, one of these people could have been karmic to you. You released that karmic. That person might want to apologize. They're in balance. They got caught being sneaky and deceptive. They told a lot of lies. They were not reliable. They weren't trustworthy when it came to you, the star. Could be something on social media. Oh, yeah, this could represent you. You know, somebody in the public eye. You could be a YouTuber or something. You could be an influencer. Um, yeah, this person was up in the clouds, you know, uh, delusions, you know, wasn't th seeing things clearly. You know, two of swords, they couldn't make up their mind. On whether they wanted to take a new path or not. But I guess they were they were still trying to manifest something. Uh something that they really they probably didn't get. Five of Cups, they're in regret. The Emperor, he ended up upright. Well, that's followed by the King of Cups in reverse. Lustful in reverse, you know, they're coming out of that horish energy. Uh they want a new beginning, they want to start fresh. But this person could have just lost their job. They've lost their independence, they've lost their finances. I really feel like it's like their source of income. However they were getting money, they've they've lost it. Uh, Six of Swords in reverse, they're bound to something. They can't move forward. 
They want to move forward towards that Queen of Cups. They can't. This person's praying. Praying like, Lord, please, if I put in eight pentacles out of ten, can I please have another chance? I know I'm not worthy. I know I'm disloyal. I know I lack integrity and righteousness. But please, Lord, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Because, you know, it is. I mean, you know, at least the man praying. We go give him that. At least he praying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some, you know, confirmation for you. Maybe you could put two and two together. You know, this is like more of the same energy. You know, uh, we've been getting illegal issues. Somebody's in court for something and somebody going to jail behind it because they was a hidden enemy. They was doing all this underhanded shit. Uh, black magic stay in reverse. We know that all this bullshit going right on back. That's why they in bad health now. Sending all that shit to the collective. Return to tender. Goodbye. But yeah, I'm going to close the reading here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you all so much. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.